Hey guys, it's Mario Armani, your friend and realtor from Armani Realty, and I'm here to give you a quick update of the Toronto real estate market during the first quarter of 2022, so let's get to it. How many more new listings were there? In 2022, there were 14,537 new listings compared to 15,490 new listings in 2021. That is a difference of 953 less new listings on the market than last year. The major issue that's plagued the real estate market has been a shortage of inventory. However, the market does seem to be balancing itself out, which happens to be great news for buyers as they were really struggling with the low amounts of supply in previous months. How many sold properties in 2022 compared to 2021? There were 9,453 sold properties in 2022 compared to 11,504 in 2021. That is a difference of 2,051 less sales. Year over year, things do seem to be very consistent, but if you look closely, this stat does show that the listing to sales ratio is actually down as we had 9% less sales in comparison to the amount of properties that were listed. This is a telltale sign of the market slowly balancing itself out. What's the average price of a detached home in 2022? The average price of a detached home is $1,964,971. That is up 15.5% from 2021, with the average days on the market being 10 in 2022 and 14 in 2021. The average sale price of a detached home is almost at $2 million now, which is crazy if you think back to what prices were just two years ago. Sellers are continuing to ride the wave with homes selling on average four days faster and prices are going up yet again, so it's definitely a great time to be a property owner. What's the average price of a condo? The average price of a condo is $809,853. That is up a whopping 19.8% from 2021, with the average days on the market being 13 in 2022 and 23 in 2021. The condo market is absolutely booming, and I've been calling this for a year and a half now. As home prices do continue to rise, buyers have no choice but, but to get into the condo market, and even investors are now adding fuel to the fire as they're also opting to include units in their portfolios due to the lower price points. My final thoughts. A big shift has occurred over the last month and a half due to several interest rate hikes, buyer exhaustion, the war, and COVID fears that continue to linger. Bidding wars have been backfiring on many sellers as they're either A, not receiving any offers at all, B, only receiving a few offers as opposed to many, or C, when an offer is received, it's for much less than what it would have been during the February peak. Many sellers and realtors are struggling to price properties and this is affecting their, their listings in a very negative way. And we're even starting to see some properties sitting for over two weeks, which has been unheard of in the last two years. Definitely balancing itself and this is very positive as it wasn't sustainable to have prices going up as fast as they were. Over the past few months, many buyers decided to take a break from their search either because of exhaustion or being priced out, but this stability will allow for them to jump back in. I do feel it's still a good time to buy or sell real estate, but now more than ever, it's extremely important to have a great realtor on your side as that can make or break your experience. Before you hire somebody, make sure to interview two or three different agents to get each of their perspectives on how they can best help you achieve your goals. Always remember, if you don't plan, plan to fail. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. If you need more information, I'd love to chat with you. Call or text me anytime at 647-448-4939. Feel free to also connect with me on Facebook or Instagram and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch all my latest videos. Like always, thank you so much for watching and until next time.